Christ the King Catholic School. My name is Kathy House, and I've been the principal here at Christ the King for 26 years. I started teaching kindergarten here in 1986, which was the year the school opened. I really love the children and the families of Christ the King, and it has been one of the greatest joys of my life to watch the children grow and learn here. We now have several families in our school in which the parents went to school here and now their children are attending school. They're kind of like my grand students. It's fun to see them in the morning. The COVID-19 pandemic has led us to produce this virtual open house for the health and safety of everyone concerned. And we're gonna do our best to give you the full open house experience. And you are welcome always to email or call for more information or if you have additional questions. Or if you'd like a personal tour, I'm happy to give you a tour after school hours, one-on-one, uh, -on -one if you need that too. So we're glad you're here, and, that, and we hope that uh, you enjoy this virtual open house. Our mission at Christ the King School is to teach and live the Catholic doctrines and values to provide a quality academic program through a loving Catholic atmosphere. We are a Catholic school. Most of our teachers are Catholic. About 90% of our students are Catholic. We teach religion class and our students attend Mass weekly. A sign hangs over every door that has these words as you see in our front office. We have an exceptional faculty and support staff of about 50, which include 33 qualified certified classroom teachers for grades pre-K-4 through eighth grade. In addition to our classroom teachers, we have full-time art, PE, music, Spanish, computer, and library. Our student body totals over 580 students. I'm standing in front of the entrance to our learning assistance program. Through this hallway, we have four learning suites where students who need extra services can receive those services during the school day. We have services from different uh, providers that do speech therapy, OT, PT, dyslexia therapists, and all, all kinds of things that kids need so that children can be in our school and still receive the special services that they may need. We have a full-time learning assistance director that helps coordinate with the parents and the teachers to make sure all the kids' needs are being met in the best way possible. Christ the King School follows the In Spirit and Truth curriculum of the Diocese of Little Rock. In addition to religion, we offer language arts including reading and literature, grammar, spelling, handwriting, and phonics. We offer math, science, social studies, technology, physical education, art, music, and Spanish. Our elementary grades through the third grade are self-contained. When we get to fourth grade, we start semi-departmentalizing our students. So the kids switch classes in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade from their homeroom teacher, which does other language arts. They switch between science, social studies, and either English or math. And then in junior high, the kids switch classes for every subject. 
and teachers that are certified in that specific subject area are teaching their subject all throughout the day for our seventh and eighth graders. I wanted to talk to you about safety and security. This year, in dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, health and safety took on a whole new meaning. We've restricted visitors from entering the school to reduce the amount of possible exposure to the virus. While I'm on the subject of, safe, of safety, I wanted to show you our safe room. This is one of two safe rooms we have here at the school that will hold all of our students in the, in the case of a tornado, and it is safe for an F5 tornado. Um, it is state of the art, and we're one of very few schools in town that actually have a safe room, so we're really proud to have that. We have surveillance security monitors strategically located throughout our facilities and continually monitored. We have a school-wide notification system in case of emergency or intruder. We have controlled entry, including automated electronic door locks on every outside door. Teachers have badges that look like this, card readers that let us in the buildings. Internal doors are locked and closed at all times as well. We screen all visitors using the hall pass management system and comprehensive background checks on faculty, staff, and volunteers through our safe environment program are conducted every year. We have a comprehensive crisis management plan that was written with the help of many experts in the field uh, that includes faculty, staff, and substitute teachers and trainings every year. We do monthly fire drills and periodic tornado and intruder drills. And even during this pandemic time, we've done monthly fire drills, which have been interesting because we literally have to do a fire drill class by class. So a fire drill that normally took me 15 minutes to do is now taking about two and a half hours to do. But we're continually doing those monthly. We've got AEDs located in several places around the school, and we've got teachers that have been trained in CPR, in Stop the Bleed, in First Aid, in AED. And we have a school nurse that is in our campus every day uh, from about 10 o'clock until about 2 o'clock, which covers all the lunchtime and um, times when you would have kids with food allergies and recesses and things like that. So it's really good to have her. If you want to visit with me personally, you can just call me at the school, 225-7883, or you can always email me at khouse at ctklr.org. I'm also doing tours. I do them after school hours. If you want to take a tour of the school in person, just set up an appointment with me. I'll be happy to do that as well. There are many ways to get involved in Christ the King School, including choir, band, advanced and beginning band, which start in about the fourth grade. We have coding club, math club, the Battle of the Books Club, which is our fourth through sixth graders. We have a young entrepreneur showcase. We have student council for our junior high. We have student ambassadors, which are sixth, seventh and eighth grade students. We have safety patrol in the sixth grade. We have accelerated reading teams, jump rope teams, student ushers and altar servers. Students participate in place in more than 15 school, state, and national competitions and contests, including the Mu Alpha Theta Math Competition at Mount St. Mary's, the State Geography Bee, the State Spelling Bee, the Duke Talent Search, the Battle of the Books Competition, the Central Regional Art Competition, the CTK's Got Talent Show, the Quiz Bowl, the Young Arkansas Artist Competition, and the media student media festival from the AAIM. There are also many fun activities throughout the school year. We have our race for education, our guardian angel pinning, red ribbon week, all saints day, vocations week, Santa secret shop week, PTO pizza days. We have a living rosary. We have lots of pep rallies, bake sales, casual days, field trips, Arkansas Art Center trips and productions. Our first grade does a Christmas pageant. We have a Living Stations of the Cross in our fifth grade. We do our CTK talent show every year. We have Rex Fest, May Crowning, Kindergarten Circus, Field Day, and much more. And I'm sure there's much more than, I, than even on my list that happen with fun things for kids all the time at Christ the King School. Hi everybody, it's me again. Now I'm standing in the gym hallway. You can see our trophy case with lots of 
awards and trophies and stuff that our kids have earned. Athletics are such a big part of kids' lives in school, and Christ the King offers quite a bit of a variety of athletics for our students. Um, we have a church league, which is the league that is probably more recreational. It's a league that everybody that wants to play gets to play. There's no tryouts for this league, and, um, and our kids just love it. We have soccer for grades K through two, and then most of the church league activities start in the fifth grade. We have basketball for boys and girls from fifth through eighth grade. We have football for boys from fifth through eighth grade. We have cheerleading for girls for eighth grade. We have volleyball for fifth through eighth grade. We have cross country fifth through eighth grade, track for fifth through eighth grade, and we have golf for sixth through eighth grade. And then in addition to that, our students in junior high, which are seventh and eighth graders, have the opportunity to participate in the AAA sports, which is a more competitive league. And there are tryouts for this league. And we combine with students from other Catholic schools in our area to form a football team, basketball for boys and girls, and volleyball team for our girls. And so uh, we've got quite a few kids playing the AAA league. So we've got two leagues going on. It's a really busy, busy uh, sports program going on around Christ the King, but hopefully offering lots of opportunities for kids to play at the level that they can succeed at. In addition to sports, we have lots of other athletic activities, including fitness teams, jump rope teams, our Bears Get Moving program, and our Little Rock Marathoners. So um, as you can see, we're busy over here in sports. We have a full-time athletic director in addition to our PE teacher, and our sports are all uh, coached by volunteer uh, parents in our church league. At the G AAA, uh, there are different coaches that are, they kind of try out or get interviewed and are chosen to do uh, coaching at that level. So um, maybe if your kids are in interested in sports and as a new parent, you like coaching sports, you can talk to us about uh, how you can help with our sports program. We need lots and lots of help from lots of parents and you don't have to have any experience really, just a love for the sports, a love for kids to come and, and hang out with us and enjoy sports at Christ the King School. Hi everyone, I hope you've enjoyed our virtual open house today. Um, at the end of this uh, video, you're going to see a link where you can go online to register for our school and give us your information. Where we'll be happy to mail you this packet of information that covers a lot of what we talked about, but there's even more specific information here on pricing, after school care, things like that, that you can take your time and look over. Uh, my business card is in here too, so you know how to reach me if you wanna call me or email me or set up a personal tour. Um, when you go online uh, and get that link to register, before you sit down to do that, I always warn people to go ahead and get your documents ready because it's going to ask you to upload the child's birth certificate and shot records, immunization records, and if the child is Catholic, their uh, baptismal certificate so that um, all that goes into the application. So get that ready so that when it's time and they ask for that document, you're ready to upload it. You can just do it by taking a picture and just sending that in. If you have any trouble doing that, you wanna just bring us, drop off a paper copy of those documents, we can take care of that for you. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can call Cynthia in our um, admissions office and her number is, it's croberts at ctklr.org roberts at ctklr.org cynthia roberts or you can call her at the school office 225-7883 um, i know that sometimes she literally kind of walks somebody completely through the process or even types it all in for you if you need help so don't let that scare you away that we can help you with that but um, after the application goes in the next step is you'll get a letter from us saying that you've been accepted and at that point, we will count you as accepted for the next school year. There'll be additional steps you'll take, such as going on to the FACTS, F-A-C-T-S FACTS website. That is what we use for um, keeping up with uh, finances and stuff. And everything here at school is paid through your FACTS account, the lunches, uh, if you sports fees, any uh, spirit wear, anything you buy through the PTO, everything goes on your fax account, which you get an accounting of what you've spent money on. So kids don't bring money to school really anymore, which is very nice. So you don't have to worry about kids losing their lunch money these days. Get things done kind of digitally, which makes it great. So anyways, we've enjoyed having this time with you. And again, call us if you have any questions. And um, it was really nice visiting with you this way. Bye.